All right, guys. Um, since so I went garage selling this weekend, I feel really bad that uh, the video didn't come out earlier. So hopefully, I'll be able to come out, uh, be able to bring this video to you on Monday. Uh, which I said I was gonna bring it out on Sunday and Saturday, but I was just way too busy uh, with work and stuff. Um, so. Hopefully this video comes out now on Monday, um, but garage sales were alright, they weren't too great. I wasn't expecting much after I got that big Genesis haul, um, so I went in with low expectations. Um, we got a we got a fairly a good amount of stuff, but I'm going to mix some other pickups with this video from non-garage sales um, to kind of alleviate the, the low time on this. So. Let's get started. We'll start out from best to worst they can. Um, so let's start out with this. Let's start out with books. Um, so this first book was from a garage sale. Um, he had a. He just had really. He just had books. Um, it's Yoshi's Island. Uh, Nintendo Player's Guide. And this is this is like the original. So it's it's awesome to see. And I got that for a dollar. Um, and he just had a whole bunch of books and stuff. Um, this other one came from Half Price Books. Uh, I paid twenty dollars for this book, but I know this was for way more than that. Uh, it's Mega Man Official Complete Works. It's in really nice condition. It goes for like sixty to seventy bucks online. I was surprised when I saw it. I, I was really hoping to see the Mega Man X one, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it wasn't there either. But it's cool to get books, stuff I can read on the toilet and stuff. Uh, Alright, so, more garage sale pickups. So the garage sales, I went with friends and stuff like that, uh, and stuff like that. I went with friends, and, uh, it was, it was a decent day for all of us. Uh, uh, my friend Eric, he got quite a bit of stuff. My other friend Sam, he didn't get anything, but I guess he had a fun time. Um, uh, but... I went a little bit after, I went to garage sales a little bit after uh, they left, and I found only these GameCube controllers. Nice condition. I don't, I really don't need any GameCube controllers, but it was the only thing that I found. So, I was kind of desperate at that point after they left. But, <clears throat> these were two for three dollars, so, I don't think I have a, I, I think I have both of these colors already, but, you know, GameCube controllers are always good to have. I think I have like 20 already. Um, Alright, next. So more garage sales. Um, so this stuff. Let's see. Sorry. So this stuff was from all from one sale. Um, they had a, a lot of like PS2 and um, PS3 games just sitting on a, a desk or something. And um, <coughs> they had different prices on them, like PS3 games were around five bucks, and they had PS2 games that were around a dollar, and then I was surprised when I saw this one that was a dollar, um, so let's show you the games that I got, uh, this one was Super Mario Bros, new Super Mario Bros DS, this was a dollar, it was complete, nice condition, it was marked at a dollar, um, which is surprising because I saw notable resellers from other garage sales, and he had a game in his hand, one of the resellers had a game in his hand, but uh, he didn't have this one, it, I guess he didn't see it or something, um, so it's good to get Mar a new Mar Bros, um, and then you have Red Dead Revolver, you know, just a generic case, that was Marteta Dollar, you see, and then you have the one PS3 game that I got was Saints Row the Third, and that one is complete. Um, so I just bundled all these together. This the Saint Rose the third was marked at five, so I just asked if they would take five, five for all three, and she said it was all right. Um, so I got five. Uh, these three for five dollars, so that wasn't bad. Um, all right. So let's do these real quick, and then we'll get to the big part of the sales. Um, uh, so these are from a friend. He came up to the. Uh, to the place I work and we tried trading these in um, and um, he wasn't going to get much for these so I, I made an offer. <coughs> um, he gave me these two games for eight bucks. Uh, 
Little Big Planet 3, Day 1 Edition, complete. Really good condition. And then Borderlands, they had some collection for essentially $4. So, really good deal um, for $8. So, there you go. Um, Alright, so, um, other than that, my friends had found, uh, my friend Eric, had, uh, the first garage that we went to, we found a PS3, um, it was March of 25, we got it down to uh, 20 bucks, um, so that was cool, uh, he tested it out later, it didn't work, it's not a big loss when you get a PS3 for 20 bucks, you can always sell it to somebody that collects broken and stuff like that. Otherwise, that was a really good deal. And then he found like other games like Batman and stuff like that on PS3. So, it was an overall good day for him. Um, it was really slow for me to get started. Um, but we found this one sale um, that had, uh, that didn't, that had just like limited stuff. Like coach purses and stuff like that. Um, but we asked, like, like you're always supposed to. And uh, they said that, the, the lady there said that, oh, her son might have some games, come back in like 15 minutes and ask him. Um, so we were driving around, we came back in 15 minutes and he had a stack of stuff. And he legitimately said, um, oh, I haven't played this stuff in years and if you want it, you can take it for a good price. So I'm going to show you everything that I got and then I'll tell you the price that I got for it. And not make the mistake like I did the last video and just put it on the last video. Um, all right, let's start out with the, the Wii games. Um, so, uh, my friend, he had picked out, so we bundled it together to get this one price, um, and it worked out the best. He got, like, uh, new, Super, new Super Mario Bros, uh, some other good games, too. But he got, like, four Wii games, and um, another uh, Game Boy Advance game that I'll tell you in a second. Um, so the first Wii game that I got was Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games. Complete. All of these games are in really good condition. He really hasn't played these games in years because they're in fantastic condition. Um, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Those two games I haven't had. I, I haven't uh, owned yet. So I'm going straight to the collection. And then just some filler stuff, you know, for sale and stuff like that. Zelda and the Twilight Princess. Seller Train. Added onto the pile because he wanted to get rid of it. Um, and then Mario Kart Wii. This game is rising in price, so it's always good to pick that up for trade and stuff. Um, all right, and then the rest is Game Boy stuff. Um, <laughs> I guess DS stuff too. Um, so with the the tub of stuff, we were really uh, thinking about making an offer on everything, but in all reality, uh, the only good thing a lot are the things that we got and. Um, or the things that we were interested in, were the things that we got, um, and most of the things here in this DS, uh, bundle. Um, my, my friend had picked out, they, he also had PS2 games, but most of it was sports. <clears throat> my friend had picked out, uh, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, which, uh, was in great condition, uh, and other than that, there's all sports games, so we just picked out what we wanted and then gave them a flat price. Um, but we took pretty much most of the stuff from the Game Boy bag, which, it's a pretty awesome Game Boy bag. It's not like a, um, it's not like a licensed Nintendo bag, but it is a really nice bag. And you can tell, I, I mean, I already put all my stuff in there, um, and all my better stuff in there, because uh, it's a really nice case. I'm happy, because really, my Game Boy games lately have been in just a little bag. So, um, so once I brought this stuff home, I kind of, it, it, when we took all this stuff from the garage sale, we were really excited, uh, just because the price that he gave us, but once I realized when I got home, it wasn't too great of a haul, uh, just because I feel like Game Boy games are kind of already undervalued, but, or I undervalue Game Boy games, but, um, as far as systems, uh, I got one original DS, my first original DS, it's a gray one, it's a good condition, a uh, little scuff marks I think on the top there, but otherwise it's a really good condition, I'm going to keep it, um, and then a blue Game Boy Advance SP, it's a 
made GS001, but it's a good condition, it works. So, and then it came with a buttload of chargers, just random stuff, but first party one, and then two third, third party game shark ones or whatever. All right, and then the games. Most of the games actually came in, in these cool Mad Cats things, um, Mad Cats covers. So that was cool to see. Um, and you get a ton of manuals. Um, I'll show you those manuals in a second. A second, for the people who like seeing manuals. But um, I got these like ten games uh, included in the lot. Um, you didn't have all the games for all the manuals that were there, which. Some of them that I saw, well, it's kind of a bummer, but anyways, let's get to it. Um, so the first game, Pac-Man Collection, Focus. Tetris World, Puyo Pop, cool to see, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, Ultimate Masters, And then two Sonic games, Sonic Adventure 2, these are all in good condition too, um, Sonic Adventure 3, and then four Pokemon games, um, one of the Pokemon games I already gave to my friend Eric, he got Pokemon Fire Red, and then I just kept the others, um, I got Pokemon Ruby, and all of these work, and the same batteries work, I've already tested them. Pokemon Emerald, and Pokemon Sapphire. So, all that stuff, the Wii games, and the cases, and the, and the two systems, and the, the stuff that my friend got, we offered him $10, and he took it. Um, so that was an amazing deal for all that stuff. Um, and then I'll show you the manuals real quick. So $10 for all that stuff is amazing. And then we got the manuals just thrown as for free. <clears throat> I bet you we could have gotten the rest of the stuff for like 20 bucks. Um, but in all reality, I wouldn't have been able to get rid of that stuff just because it was mostly garbage. Um, <clears throat> so unfortunately, that's that's a bad thing. But uh, and it's not a good thing. But uh, it's uh, I think all the stuff that we got was really good for $10. Um, so we had Tiger Woods. Uh, one Pokemon Fire Red, I have to give this to Eric, sorry Eric. Um, Harry Potter, the game that we didn't see in there, Backyard Sports, uh, Random Game Boy Manual, Tetris World, hopefully this comes up on camera. Sonic Adventure 3, Puyo Pop, Monsters Inc., Pac-Man Collection, Magical Quest Art Mini Mickey. Uh, Mickey and Minnie. I was really hoping that I saw this one in there, but unfortunately the game wasn't in there. Spider-Man. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Masters. FA-185 Super Horn. 18th F, I mean, Super Horn. Crash Bandicoot and the Huge Adventure. And Spiral Orange Cortex Conspiracy. Okay. And that's it, guys. Um, Overall, it wasn't a fantastic day, but it was a decent enough day where um, it kind of was supplemented with the Genesis stuff that I did find. Um, so it was a it was a really exciting day, and it was fun to go out with friends and stuff like that. So I'm I'm really excited for next week. Hopefully, we can get some more stuff. Um, the the two sales that or the two community sales that we went to were fairly small. Um, so hopefully next week we'll be able to have a large community garage cell to go to, but <clears throat> that's it for me, guys. Uh, I'll see you next week, hopefully, um, and have a good day.